Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, we are going to be doing another declutter, and this is my blush collection. Uh, this is going to be another challenging one for me, I can already tell you up front. I have already done so several declutters in, well, really in every category, but um, this category I feel like I've narrowed it down to like my favorite formula, so you'll see a lot of repeats for certain brands, um, formulas that I really like. So. Um, this is going to be a little bit more challenging, but I'm going to do my best to whittle this down a little bit. So no promises on what I'm going to be able to declutter. I'm going to, like I said, I'm just going to do my best um, to work through some of this. So yeah, this is my blushes. Let's get started on the declutter. Oh, actually one more thing really quick before we jump in because I do get this question every time. So I have to unfortunately address it in every single video. I know it's kind of redundant for you guys who are watching this series, but if you want to know what I'm doing with the makeup, for the things that I am decluttering, um, anything that was gifted to me or received in PR or, um, you know, gratis, whatever, those things will be passed along to friends and family. Don't worry, my friends and family are getting plenty of stuff. They're very happy with it. Um, but anything that I paid for with my own money that's still in good condition, I will be selling on my blog sale, and I will have a link to that down below. There are a few products still available on that blog sale from my last couple declutters, but things are selling really quickly. So if there's something you're interested in, make sure to check it out. All right, let's begin with the top corner here. So I have two of these Kat Von D blushes. These were the Everlasting uh, everlasting Blushes, and they've been discontinued for some time now. I have two shades. This one is called Pour Vita, and then I have this shade here, which is called Love Song. I really enjoy the formula on these. I think the only reason she discontinued these is it was during the time when she was going all vegan with her ingredients. So I think she discontinued these to come out with, you know, a non, or a, a vegan formula because these were non non-vegan. Um, I think both of these are really beautiful. I really like the colors of both of them. So I am going to be keeping both of these. Okay, next up, I have two of these Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. Now, technically you can use these as either like a highlight or a blush. I keep them in my blush category because of the colors I have, I think they work more like a, bl a blush on me. I have the shade Nectar and then I have the shade Rose and they're both really stunning. Uh, let me go ahead and swatch these as well. I know I love the formula of these. I don't see myself being able to let go of them. I think that's them right there. That's Nectar and that's Rose. I think these are really beautiful as well. So I don't, I, I'm not going to be able to let go of those. I'm definitely going to have to keep those. Next up, I have this here. This is from the brand Romand. And this is actually a dual blush. And I think that the formula on this is really nice. And I actually like the colors a lot. The only thing I will say about this is that uh, it's hard to find. So whenever I mention this on my channel, if I'm using it in a get ready with me or something, I can't link it for you guys. So I try not to keep too many products like that in my collection because I know it's frustrating for you guys if you see something you like and you can't get your hands on it. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and let go of this. It's not a bad product. I just, yeah, I just don't like to keep too many products like that around unless it's something I'm in love with. And that one I just think is okay. Next up, I have one of these NYX Baked Blushes, and this is in the shade Spanish Rose. I had a couple more of these, which I decluttered. They're a little on the scratchy side, and for that reason, it makes it really hard to pick up the pigment. Like, you really have to, like, dig your brush in. So I think it's pretty. It's just a little more work than I like to have to do with a blush, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Now I have a few NARS blushes. I have two that are like deluxe sample sizes that I received like from 500 point perks. And then I have one full size. So the full size one I have is called Sin. This is one of my favorite like fall winter blushes. It's a beautiful um, kind of a plum, plum shade. So pretty. Definitely keeping that. I love that for fall. Next I have this shade which is Ghoulie. And this is more of like, um, I don't know, kind of a raspberry color not quite as dark as this one it's really pretty for fall as well though I really do enjoy that one and I will be keeping that and then the last one I have is deep throat this one is stunning this is more of a kind of peachy pink color it has a little shimmer in there but it's very subtle that's it right there I love the formula of NARS blushes I would definitely eventually like to have more of them but I think I have enough blush for now um, but I really do want to keep that one as well I really enjoy it 
Okay, and then next I have two of these Laura Geller uh, baked gelato swirl blushes. The funny thing about these, I've talked to the about you guys, I've talked about this to you guys before. They're both called rose water. I'm not sure if she changed the color or if one of mine like was uh, labeled wrong or what happened because this one's clearly more of a peachy color and this one's a lot more of a pinky like raspberry. Um, I do like both of them though and they are very different so I do want to keep both of them. They don't look anything alike so um, I will be keeping both of those. All right, next up I have this number seven blush. This one I received in PR. I really enjoy this one as well. I think it's a really nice formula, really good drugstore formula, lasts all day. It's a very matte blush. Um, I have the shade Ap Apricot Blossom. It's a really wearable kind of neutral color. Definitely keeping that as well. Next I have two of these Maybelline Master um, highlights. Again, these are similar to like the Bobbi Brown ones where you can use it as a highlight or a blush. I feel like they're more of a blush on me. They just have a little bit more color to them. That one is called Nude and this one is called Coral. Yeah, I really love both of those. I think they make really nice blushes for a little bit more of a um, glowy blush. So I will be keeping both of those. Next up, I have this blush from 100% Pure. This came to me in PR as well. I think this is a good blush. I just don't think it's worth the price. And I talked about this with their highlight as well because I got both. Um, I think I like the blush better than I liked the highlight because I, I feel like it actually, I don't know, it just works a little bit nicer, like just the way that it looks on my skin, I feel like it's a little bit better. Um, so I will be keeping it, but I still don't think it's worth the price point, um, but I will be keeping this one. All right, next I got a bunch of Milani blushes. So this is one of the baked blushes. This is in the shade Luminoso. I really enjoy this one as well. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful blush. Great for like spring, summer. It's that really nice kind of a peachy um, shimmery color. So I'll be keeping that. I'm not doing too good on this category. I kind of expected to not declutter a lot. Um, I'm trying to just narrow it down to the things I love the most, but I'm not gonna declutter things that I like just for the sake of numbers, so. All right, and then I have uh, three of these ones which are just called their powder blushes. This is the shade Coral. This one is so vibrant, it's really pretty, but it kind of, I mean, it, it shears out a bit, so it's not like, unwearable so I do enjoy that I will be keeping that one um, I have this one which is um, tea rose this is my well I don't know this one and the other one I really enjoy a lot but I don't know if I have a favorite between the two really nice neutral pink color and then the last one is called romantic rose I think this one is my favorite it's so so pretty look how much I've worn it down already it's kind of a neutral mauvey color really easy to wear I love those all right, so far, we've at, we're at two so far. Oh, okay, this one I know I can get rid of, actually, because I, I wasn't a fan of the formula. This is from Catrice. It's a, the Illuminating Blush. I think it's pretty. It, it's really pretty. It just doesn't really show up on my skin very well. It's kind of almost like a grayish pink color on me, and it just doesn't look good on my skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Next, I have this Kevin Aquan blush. This is the Neo Blush in Rose Cliff. I was actually gifted this one. I think this is so beautiful. I love how you get so many colors so you can kind of change the color of the blush depending on where you put your brush down. I really enjoy this. I will be keeping that one. Okay, next I have this Makeup Forever blush. And this, again, it's one of the ones where you pop it in and I can never get these out, so I never know the name of it. Um, but this one reminds me a lot of the Luminoso blush from um, Milani, but it's a little bit more pink and not as shimmery. It's really stunning. I've been enjoying it. I haven't had it that long. I got it in gratis right before I left working at Sephora. So I'd like to keep that a little longer. Next, I have a bunch of Laura Geller blushes, and this one here is the uh, Baked or Blush and Brighten in Raspberry. I really love this one. This is one of my favorite. It is a little bit more of a matte blush, super pretty. Gonna keep that. And then I have this one, which is the Baked Brulee Blush in Berry Cream. This is very, very beautiful, but this one has a little bit more shimmer to it. I really enjoy that as well, though, so I will be keeping that one. And then the last one I have is the blush, Baked Blush and Brighten in Pink Grapefruit. And let me remember what this looks like. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't like this color as much. It's kind of a weird color on me. It looks a little like, 
um, I don't know, like a shimmery coppery kind of color on my skin tone and just is not super flattering. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. All right, next I have a MAC blush. This is the Proenza Schuler Collection Blush in Rose Cliff. I really enjoy this one in the springtime. I just had this in my last rotation of my everyday makeup drawer. It's a little bit more of a subtle blush, but I really enjoy it, so I will be keeping that one. A few more MAC blushes. This is the Mineralized Blush in Dainty. This is a shimmery uh, pink color. It's really pretty. I just don't reach for this often enough, and I have a lot in that color, so I think I actually will let go of that one. And then this one I definitely want to keep. This is um, a limited edition one. Uh, I th what was the name of this? I always forget the name of it because it's, it's not written in English and I can never remember. I'll try to put it on the screen if I can remember what it's called. But it's a really, really cool color. It's like a really frosty pink color. Um, I really enjoy using this like as a blush topper or sometimes I'll wear, um, wear it on its own. It's really beautiful. I'm definitely keeping that. All right, next I have the uh, Gentle Blush, and this is a great winter color. This is one of my go-tos for winter. Kind of got that berry tone to it. Super pretty, keeping that. And another uh, limited edition, this is the shade Hipness from the Wash and Dry Collection. This is one I don't reach for too often. I think it's beautiful. I just, I think it, it's very similar to a lot of other products I have, so I just never remember to grab it. So I will go ahead and let go of that one. And then I have this one here from the um, Minnie Mouse collab with Sephora. It's like a Sephora collection blush. I think this is a cool blush. I really actually like it a lot. The only thing is I just don't reach for it often enough. I, I love the way it shimmers, though, on my skin. It almost looks like a highlighter on me. Um, but I just don't reach for it anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and let go of it. Next, I have this blush from the brand Note. This just came in BoxyCharm. I have not had a chance to even try it yet, so I will be keeping this. I want to give it a try at least. All right, next up I have this little long comb blush. This actually is like one that I got as a deluxe sample. It's in the shade Mocha. It's a really cool color. I didn't think I would like it, and then I um, actually tried it on my cheeks, and I like the way it looks. It's more of like a bronzy kind of blush. It's really nice. Keep in that. All right, I have a few Becca blushes. This first one, okay, this first blush. I don't want to get too much into this, but the name of this is Gypsy. And for those of you who aren't aware, that is a offensive slang term in other countries. And here in America, it's not considered a slang term, but I know that it's offensive to people who potentially watch my videos. So for that reason, I am going to be getting rid of this blush because I just don't want to use that word on my channel. And there's no reason to keep a blush where every time I mention it, I have to say that word um, just because I, I understand that it can be offensive to some people. So for that reason, I am going to get rid of this. I will say it's a beautiful blush and I, um, Becca did discontinue this and I'm, I'm assuming it's because of the name. Um, I had received or I purchased it on Holt Look and at the time I purchased it, I was not aware that it was a offensive word. So um, anyway, all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this just because of the name, which is sad, but I wish they would have named it better. All right, next up I have another Becca blush. This is in the shade Camilla, and this is a really pretty color. This is a little bit more of a bright color. It has that really pretty shimmer to it. Um, I love wearing this one like with a more neutral look. I think it's really stunning, so keeping that. And the last Becca blush I have, this is a baby size of the shade Ro oh, Flower Child. Oh, I love this one. This is probably my favorite. I wish it was in a bigger size, but that's okay. I'll probably still never use it up. It's a pretty kind of pinkish um, coral color. Super pretty, keeping that. Next up, I have this Makeup Geek blush. This is in the shade XOXO. I received this a while ago in a BoxyCharm. I really enjoy this. I think it's a great formula. I will be keeping that one. Here's another blush uh, that I actually received in PR. This is from Ofra, and it's in the shade Bellini. This is a matte blush. Let me see if I have any room left to swatch this. Um, it's a really pretty kind of coral color. I actually really do enjoy it. It's a corally matte shade, um, so I will be keeping that as well. All right, next I have three of the Too Faced Love Flush blushes. Are they discontinuing these, you guys? They don't have them on Sephora's website anymore, and I think I checked Ulta, and Ulta didn't have it. I think only on the Too Faced website. I feel like Too Faced recently has been discontinuing their best products, 
and coming out with stuff that's just not as good, which makes me sad. But I have three of these. I love the formula of them. They used to have a ton of shades to pick from. I don't know if they're still available or not, but if you can find them, I highly recommend them. This is the shade Baby Love. It's a really nice neutral shade. I love this one, keeping that. All right, the next shade I have is called Justify My Love, and this is more of a pink color. Love that one as well. And the last one, this one is called Your Love is King. This one I like to wear in the more fall, in like the fall winter. Um, it's a little deeper color, but it's super pretty, keeping that as well. Alrighty, moving on. I have my three hourglass blushes. You guys know I love this formula as well. Definitely not going to be able to let go of any of them. I have Luminous Flush, which is kind of a pinky coral shade. I also have this one, which is called Incandescent Electra. That's a nice coral. And the last one I have is called Mood Exposure. This is my favorite. It's kind of a mauve neutral color. Super beautiful, keeping those. All right, next up I have just one of these Urban Decay Afterglow blushes. I got rid of most of these. I think the formula on these is okay. It's not fantastic. This is called Rapture. It reminds me a lot of Sin from uh, NARS, which I did keep, so I will let go of this one. I just don't reach for it. Okay, I have three, or no, sorry, four of the Clinique Cheek Pop. This is my absolute favorite formula for blush. I have a lot of favorites, but this is my most favorite. Um, I'm definitely keeping most of these, but two of them look very similar. So those two I might look at. Um, keeping Nude Pop, this one's very unique from what I have from this collection. It's just a nice nude color. I wear it all the time, keeping that. Um, next, I have... Uh, Rosy Pop. I'm going to swatch all three of these because I can't remember which two look almost exactly the same. That's Rosy Pop. Next, this one is called Plum Pop. Okay, that one's a lot more pink. And the last one I have is called Berry Pop. I think that's the one. Yeah. Uh, hold on, those don't look that much close now. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to keep Plum Pop because that one's very unique. And then these two are similar. They're not identical, but I don't need both of them. So I think I'm going to get rid of the Berry Pop. I like the Rosy Pop better. So, okay, get rid of Berry Pop. Yeah, they're just too close. That's okay. Anyway, moving on. Next, I have one of the Flower Beauty uh, blushes. This is in the shade Sweet Pea. I really enjoy this. I think it's a great formula for a drugstore blush, and I like the color. It's easy to wear, so I will be keeping that one. Another drugstore one. This is one of the e.l.f. Um, it's the older blushes. This is in the shade Jet Setter. I wish they didn't reformulate because I really like these ones that came in the round packaging. And this is one of my favorite colors. I had a bunch of them and I ended up just keeping only this one. I still really enjoy it. I can't let this one go, so I'm going to be keeping that. Next up, I have a uh, Coastal Sense blush. This is one of their Forever blushes. They sent me a bunch of these in PR. I don't really like the formula of these. I kept this one because the color was more unique, but I just don't think I need it. So I'm going to go ahead and let go of that. Next, I have my Antonym blush. Antonym is a brand I tried a few different products from, and I really am not a fan of their products. However, I will say this blush is very nice. I really like it. I have the shade Rose. It's a, um, you know, it's one of those baked blushes that give you that kind of swirl effect. This is a very nice neutral color. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it in a very subtle, um, beautiful way. It just adds a nice glow. So I do enjoy that, and I will be keeping it. All right, next I have this powder here from Vintage by Jessica Lebinsk, I believe is how you say it. This came in a BoxyCharm, and I really think the formula is weird. It's kind of like chunky. It's beautiful once you get it on your cheeks, but it's just such a strange formula. I don't, I'm not a fan of it, so I'm going to let go of that. Okay, you guys know I cannot declutter this. I talked about this in my uh, video I did about products I will never declutter. This is a sentimental item to me. It's the uh, Balm Hot Mama. This is not going anywhere. And then uh, Rockateur from Benefit. This has been one of my favorite blushes for a long time. I have talked about this in many videos. I still really enjoy it. It might not be my absolute favorite anymore, but I still really enjoy it. And I will be keeping that one. Almost done. Okay, next I have this Marc Jacobs blush. This is one of the older packaging. It is in the shade Shameless. I love this one. I'm not going to be able to let go of that. That is staying. 
And then I have three of these Wet n Wild color icons. I do like the formula of these. I just don't find myself reaching for them very often. I, I want to keep a few drugstore for when I do like an all drugstore get ready with me or something. But maybe I don't need all three. I think I'll keep this neutral one because that one speaks to me the most. And then of these two, I think I'll keep this one. I have several in this kind of color that I, I don't feel like I need that one. So I will let go of that one. That is in the shade Apricot in the middle. All right, let's see what I was able to do. All right, so it wasn't a massive declutter, but I did get rid of 13 products from my collection. I'm happy with that. I think all of these are products that I just don't reach for or use enough, and I hope that they find better homes where someone will love them and appreciate them the way I could not. And yeah, that was it for this declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button while you're here and uh, hit that notification bell as well so you always are notified of any new posts. And that's pretty much it for me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.